Your healthcare provider will review your pathology report. The report has the results of the removed tissue. The stage of your cancer is based on the size of your tumor and if it has spread out of the breast tissue. It is described by the following letters. T, tumor size. N, the number of nearby lymph nodes involved. M, if the cancer has metastasized or spread to other organs of the body. The type of treatment that you will need depends on the stage or the location and size of your tumor and how much cancer may have spread to any lymph nodes. Stage zero, the tumor is in the ducts or lobules. Stage one, the tumor is less than two centimeters and may or may not have spread to the lymph nodes. Stage two, the tumor is about five centimeters and has spread to three or more auxiliary lymph nodes. Stage three, the tumor is larger than five centimeters and has spread to three or more auxiliary lymph nodes. Stage four, the tumor has spread to other parts of the body, such as the bones, lungs, or brain. Treatment options for breast cancer include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, hormone therapy, and targeted therapy. Surgery is the most direct way to remove the breast cancer. The two options for breast surgery are breast conserving surgery or lumpectomy and a mastectomy. The most common type of breast cancer surgery to perform is something called a lumpectomy. The objective is to remove just the cancer and a rim of normal tissue around it and preserve the remaining breast. A lumpectomy is also called breast conserving therapy. It is our intention to keep your appearance the same or as close to the same as possible as it was before your operation. Lumpectomy is usually coupled with radiation after surgery. Radiation is used to kill unseen cancer cells. If the surgeon cannot fill the tumor before the lumpectomy, you may have a wire or wireless localization. A radiologist will use a mammogram to locate the tumor and a thin wire will be inserted into your breast just before surgery and passed down to the marker or clip. This will help guide your surgeon exactly to the area that needs to be removed during surgery. Surgeons may choose to use a wireless localization, including magnetic seeds, radio frequency identification tags, radioactive seeds, or a radar localization, which uses radar to locate the tumor. The other option that you may be offered is something called a mastectomy, and that means removal of the entire breast. When a mastectomy is performed today, it frequently can be done with immediate reconstruction. Breast reconstruction is often performed by a plastic surgeon while they are helping a breast cancer surgeon in the operating room. Breast reconstruction can be done using either breast implants or your own tissue and a conversation with the plastic surgeon will help you decide what is the best option for you. In addition to your breast cancer surgery to remove the tumor that's in your breast, you will also frequently be offered an operation for lymph nodes in your underarm or in the armpit. There are two basic operations that we can perform for that part of the body, something called a sentinel lymph node biopsy, or an axillary lymph node dissection. The term sentinel lymph node biopsy refers to the idea that we are first just sampling a few lymph nodes in your underarm to understand whether or not breast cancer has breached this portion of your body. An axillary lymph node dissection, on the other hand, means removing a more extensive amount of lymph nodes in your underarm because it is already known that some of your lymph nodes in that region have breast cancer, and the purpose for that operation is to remove any other remaining lymph nodes that may also have breast cancer.